You know what, man? Growing up, man, I never realized all the women that we liked or had a crush on on TV shows and movies, man, they were toxic. But guess what? We're going to talk about the top three most toxic women in TV and movie history. Let's get to it. What it is, man, this is Architect Mr. J bring you the 45 gigawatt special edition video. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, notification bell, so you can be updated on new music, new content, all that, man. Honestly, man, all these women that we grew up watching on TV that we had these crushes on, man, golly, they were toxic. This is my opinion, so don't come on here whining. But he chose her. Nah, that ain't what we talking about. But here's my top three most toxic women in TV and movie history. Number three, Rose off Titanic. I didn't have a crush on her, but check this out. Rose was running around the whole movie with this homeless guy named Jack. Had this man believing that after they got off the boat that they was going to run away together. She let Jack draw her booty but naked, was having sex inside of an old car. There was a door big enough for both of them to lay on, and instead of scooting her butt over, she let this man hang in some cold water. I'll never let you go. Then let him go to drop to the bottom of the ocean. Super toxic, selfish, get up out of here. Number two, Laura off Family Matters. Laura was not feeling Steve for the most part in Family Matters. She was talking to so many dudes. Steve would fight any guy that disrespected Laura. Even to a point to where he had to change his DNA just so she would feel him. Well, man, all he did was just pull his pants down with Stefan Urkel. But that's besides the point. Oh, then when he became an astronaut? Ha! Ah! Now she's so proud of him. Now she's feeling him. Steve was tripping. He had Myra this whole time. Myra accepting him for who he was. And Steve still wanted to go get Laura. Woo, super toxic. Get up out of here. If you think there was a woman in TV and movie history that you think that was toxic that I didn't bring up, man, drop it in the comments below. Number one, Jenny from Forrest Gump. From childhood, he adored this girl, even to when he became an adult. But Jenny was for the city. For the world. Jenny would be on different drugs. She would go have sex with different hippies and then show up in Forrest's life whenever she felt like it. She seen Forrest shining, got a medal of honor, became way greater than what he was, and then she would just pop up. Dudes would disrespect Jenny. Forrest would beat him up. Forrest would tell her, hey, you better than this. Like, come with me, man. I'll take care of you. Nah. You know what Jenny would do? Forrest is my life. You can't always protect me. What? Tripping. Ping pong champion. All American kickoff return. But the greatest kickoff returner since Devin Hester. I I'm playing. Business owner of Bubba Gump Shrimp. Forrest even took care of Bubba's family whenever Bubba passed. Jenny and Forrest only had sex one time. And then all of a sudden, this is Forrest's kid that she just dropped off. And let's keep it funky, man. Jenny probably got AIDS, dropped the kid off, and then bounced. And we don't even know if that was even Forrest's kid. Man, honestly, the only thing Jenny really did good was give Forrest a seat when they were kids on the bus. I'm sorry, but Forrest was too good for her, man. He deserved better. Queen Toxic, get up out of here. But anyways, man, just thinking about my childhood and watching all these TV shows and sitcoms, man, brings back a lot of memories, man. Good times. Thank you for tuning in to another video from Architect Mr. J. This is the 45 gigawatts edition, special edition at that. Hit that subscribe button, notification bell so you know whatever I got going on. And um, go ahead and pre-order my new song, Pressure, in the bio, in the description below. It'll be there. I'm out of here. Peace.